All right, so welcome to our live coding exercise. I've set up a couple of comments here. This is just so we remember that this is the game setup file. This is our deck list, and this is our player money. So let's start out by writing the deck list. Uh, so I'm going to create a quick list of all the cards. Um, we're going to do card num ref equals to, and we're going to make a list of all the cards that we want to use. Um, so remember, we have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, made a mistake there, nine, ten, and then jack, queen, and king. So notice we'll have 13 different types of cards, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, through 10, and then jack, queen, king, that's 13 different types of cards. We're also going to have four different suits. So we're gonna do card suit reference is equal to, and we're just gonna do single letters, diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades. Great, <clears throat> so we have our card numbers and we have our card reference. So how do we create a deck list that's going to assign these things to it? So let's start out real real simple by doing deck list is equal to a list. And let's do current card number is equal to zero. This is going to be a variable that we use to hold on to which position in the list of card number reference that we're at. So we'll do while current, while current card num is less than or equal to 13 because 13 is or less than or equal to 12, it's 13 items, but remember the first index is always zero, so it's gonna be zero through 12. While current card number is less than 12, deck list dot append, that's gonna to add to the end of our deck list, card num ref at index position, current card num. So that's gonna get in our card number reference, it's gonna give us our index position zero, and it's gonna return ace. And then we're going to do current card num plus equals one to increment that up one. So that will go through a while loop and it will up add ace to the end of the list, then add one to it, and then start over, check to see if this is true, which it is. And then it will be uh, card index one, which will be two, and it'll add a two to the list. So let's make sure that that works, print, uh, deck list and let's run that ace two three four four all the way through queen king great so we've added a single version of each card to our deck list but what we want to do is we want to do the suit and then the card number and so that we'll have one of each of these for every single card in our deck so how we're going to do that we're going to put this all into another while loop. We're going to do current suit num equals to zero. And then while current suit, nope, current suit num, whoops, that's the problem. While current suit num is less than or equal to three, remember, zero, one, two, three, we're going to do, um, uh, we're going to have this while loop, and what we're going to do is instead of just appending card num ref current card num, we're actually going to append uh, card suit ref. Whoops, let's make a little spaces in. Let's so I'll leave this up here for you guys, and we're going to call this out. This is what we used to use, but now we're going to use deck list dot append, and we're going to do card suit ref at index position current suit num plus card num ref at index position current card num. That way it'll do what suit we're on plus the number that we're on and then we'll increment it up and it will go back to the beginning of this while loop. And then once all of this while loop is done we want current current suit num to increment by one. That way I'll go through this while loop 13 times, giving us all of these with it, the current suit. It'll start with diamonds, 
So it'll be diamond ace, diamond two, diamond three. And then once it goes through this loop, it will increment the current suit num and go back to the top of this while loop and start over again and do the whole thing for each suit. So if we print this out now, we get diamond ace, diamond two, diamond three, and so on and so forth until we get to diamond king. And then we have clubs ace, clubs two, clubs three, and so on and so forth. And our dictionary, sorry about the update. Our dictionary, our, our, our list here will keep going through. We got clubs all the way to clubs king and then hearts ace, hearts two. So this will be, let's just double check, uh, print length of deck list. Run that again, 52. We've got 52 cards. That means we're good to go with our deck. So now we can use our deck list object as our deck of cards. So that will generate the deck list. Great. Now let's move on to player money. So we can start off by, at the beginning of each game, we can just do player money equals 500. And that will set the player money to be 500 at the beginning of each game. But that means that every time that you start the game over, it will always start at 500. What I'd like to do instead is use a text file to keep track of the exact amount of money that the player has. So what we're gonna do is, uh, F equals open money dot text not dot text and we're gonna open it as writable. So let's see, we, we have two conditions that we will have. Either this will be the first time that they run the program or they will have already run the program. If it's the first time, we need to create an object to, we need to create a file to save the amount of money that they have. So let's start with that. If we need to create it, um, if, and let's see, we're gonna need to use uh, import OS in order to work with files. Um, if OS path exists, and we're gonna do uh, money.txt, you can use any sort of file name for this, um, but I'm going to use money.txt. If it uh, exists, then we're going to load the file. This would be the case where they've run the program already, and now they're running it again in order to uh, load up their current money status. So if OS path exists, check to see if this file exists, then we're going to f equals open money.txt as a readable file, we use R. Um, and then we're going to use uh, player money equals f.read. And then we're going to f.close to close the file. Else, meaning if the file does not exist, we're going to do f equals open, again, money.txt as a writable file. That means we can write to it. And we're going to do player money is equal to 500. f.write player money. And then f.close. And that will close the file. So this way, when we first run the program, it will check, does money.txt exist? Yes. Then open it as a readable file, and then set the player money value equal to whatever you read from the file, and then close the file. If it doesn't exist, then you open it as a writable file, set player money to 500. We're going to do 500 as the initial budget for when you first run the program, and then write player money to your money.txt file and then close. Well, that's all well and good, but we have to remember that the fread and fwrite files or file methods always use strings. And with money, we want it to be an integer so we can increase it and decrease it. So here, what we're gonna wanna do is a little bit of special handling. We're gonna do player money string equals fread and then player money equals int player money string. That way we remember that player money string is a string, 
player money as an integer. Here, we're going to do the same thing backwards. Player money is equal to 500. Player money string is equal to string player money. And then write player money string. And that will clearly note that we know that we're writing a string to the file and that we're going to read it as a string but convert it to an integer when we want to use it. So that's just a quick overview about how to set up the deck list using while loops rather than a pre-programmed list. And then how to set up the player money using file reading and writing. So now we've got that done, we can move on to the next step.